Okay, so tapos na tayo dun sa discussion ng Bernoulli theorem. Ang gagawin natin is to solve the following problems na meron tayo pagdating ng uh, Bernoulli theorem. So you have different problems here. You have different problems there, ha? Ngayon ang gagawin mo, uh, natandaan mo naman yung mga keynotes na sinabi ko kanina, you are now ready to solve it. So this is problem number one. Water from a reservoir A at 10 meters elevation is drawn by a motor. Ibig sabihin elevated. Okay? Drawn by a motor driven pump to an upper reservoir B at 72 meters elevations. Okay? So from 10 meter elevated platform, meron kang reservoir or 10 meter elevation, elevated uh, ground, ipapump out mo yung tubig into a higher ground which is 72 meters above it. Uh, 72 meters above the pump center line. Now, the suction and discharge head loss are ayan na, total na kagad yung head loss niya, 0.15 meters. Respectively. For a discharge rate of 15 liters per second, so that is Q, find the total head for piping. Yun ang inaanap natin. Okay? Ako, sa lahat ng subjects ko, pinaka, ano, pinaka, ini-encourage ko ang student to draw the problem. That is the best way for you to understand it. Okay? So, ido-drawing natin siya. Okay? This is the first one. Copy ko na lang. This is the second one. Yan. Tapos, bilog. Kailangan natin bilog. Yan. Yan. So, i-move ko lang to, ha. Yan. So, this is your, ano ngayon, your diagram. Now, this is your diagram. Okay. It... Yan. Magpasensya. Ah, crooked na eh. Gamit na lang ako dito ng iba. Yan. Ito. Yan. Tapos, isa pa. Kakit natin. Yun, no? Diba? Yakit mo daw. So, you are elevated here at point A. Meron ang measurement na you have a measurement here na 10 10 meters tapos hindi naman binigay yung mga sizes. So, meron ka daw dito 72 meters. Now, hindi binigay yung sizes dyan but the Q is given. Okay? Q is 15 liters per second. And then, the total head loss. Now, ilista mo parate, the head total will be equal to uh, HV plus head ng pressure head plus yung potential head which is AZ, elevation head, and then the head loss. Now, tignan mo, nagbigay ba dyan ng flow? Yes. So, meron ka nito. Q. Okay? Pero, wala siyang binigay na, ano, wala siyang binigay na diameters. No diameter here. No diameter here. So, we have to cancel out ito. Okay? Kasi wala naman diameter. Hindi naman natin pwedeng gawan yan. Okay? Yun ang given sa problem. May binigay bang suction and discharge pressure? None. So, this is zero. This is zero. Meron tayong elevation and then meron tayong head loss. Now, in order for you to determine it, di ba ang sinabi ko? If your ZS is above the pump center line, ito yung pump center line, and then this ZD is above also the pump center line, let the gravity do it all alone, okay, ima-minus mo na lang yung ZS mo dito. Kasi ang ZS mo is naka-positive, above the pump center line. Okay? So, finalization, the head total will be equal to 0 plus 0 plus ZD 
minus ano plus ZS plus head loss. Na head loss is 0.15. So, 0 plus 0 plus ZD, that is 72. Minus ZS is 10 plus 0.15 meters. So, the answer will be 72 minus 10, that is 62. 62.15 meters. That is now your head total. Okay, that is head total. Okay. 62.15 meters. Ganun lang kadali. Okay? And number two. Water from a reservoir is pumped over a hill. Over a hill. Through a 900 millimeter pipe in chest in diameter, and a pressure of one kilogram per cm squared is maintained. So, meron ang pipe diameter. Okay, the drawing ulit natin mas maganda. Over a hill. Drawing. Yan. Tapos, let us draw another one. You know, hmm, di ba? So, nine hundred millimeter in diameter and a pressure. Nagbigay na siya ng suction pressure, which is one kilogram per cm squared is maintained at the pipe discharge where the pipe is 85 meters from the pump center line. The pumps have positive suction head of 5 meters. Positive suction head. Okay? And then the pumping rate is 1,000 RPM at and is 1.5 cubic meter per second. So Q is 1.5 cubic meter per second. Friction loss is equivalent to 3M of head loss. Yan yung total head loss. What is the head that should the pump cover for the system? So, meron ka dito uh, 900 mm for true. Ibig sabihin, meron kang true. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Wala ang binigay dito. Okay? Open to. Atmospheric to. Pag sinabing true, yung discharge mo, discharge diameter, is 900 mm. Meron ka ba ang discharge pressure dyan? The discharge pressure is, uh, binigay niyo yung discharge pressure. Eh. 1 kilogram per cm squared. And then, ZD, 85, tapos suction head is meron ang 5 meters dito na height. 5 meters. Meron ka dito ang height na 85 meters. From here up to here. Here to here. 85 meters. Yan, okay. Friction losses. So, head loss is five, uh, 3 meters. Head lang kailangan mo. This is pump center line. CCL. Q is 1.5 meters cube, cubic meters per second. So, kunin natin yung total head of the pump. So, head ng pump, isulat mo muna. Total head is equal to HB plus HZ plus head ng pump. Anong pressure plus head loss. This is the entire equation. Ba't bumabalik po siya? Yan. For the entire equation. So, note mo dito kagad, since malilimutin ka, V or the velocity para dito sa ano, uh, velocity head is equal to 4Q over pi d squared. 
Ngayon, isa-isay natin sila, himahimay natin. So, head total. Okay, meron ka bang... Ito ha? Meron ka dito dapat na HV. So, that is uh, BD squared minus VS squared over 2G plus HZ. ZD. Tignan mo, nasa baba siya ng pump center line. So, minus, house minus ZS plus head ng pump, uh, pressure head. That is PD minus PS over gamma plus the total head loss. O, check natin. Meron ba tayong given na suction? Wala. Okay, wala tayong given na suction. Okay. Given ba yung suction ano natin, size natin? Hindi din kasi walang binigay na diameter. So, zero ito, zero ito. Pwede na natin isimplify. Okay. Let us simplify. Head total is equal to VD. O, ngayon, so solve natin, di ba, coming from here. So, that is 4 times 1.5 meter cube per second. Over pi, yun 900 millimeters, yun D. 900 millimeter, divide mo na lang 1,000. So, 900 divide by 1,000. Ano to, meters na yan. So, that is 0 0.9 meters squared. Tapos, square mo. O, since 0 naman yun nasa kabila, huwag mo na isama. Over 2 times 9.81 meter per second squared. Plus ZD. Ano ba yung ZD mo dyan? That is 85 minus minus 5. Parang tignan nyo ha. Minus minus 5. Mm -hmm. Dapat to plus, di ba? Nasa baba siya, habulin siya ng pump. Minus minus 5. Minus minus 5, di plus 5. Habulin siya ng pump. Tapos plus PD, which is 1 kilogram per cm squared. 1 kilogram per cm squared. 1 kilogram per cm squared. Ngayon, yung calculation niya, that is equal to, multiply natin, 101.325 kPa per 1.033 kilogram per cm squared. Divided by, <coughs> What? Divided by 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube. Ang lalabas lahat dyan is in meter. So, the head total now will be? Head total will be? Sa isa yun, ha? So, dito ko muna sa taas. Uh, 4 times 1.5 divided by shift. Nasaan yung pi? Pi times 9 po, ano? 0.9. Squared, tapos yung buo, square mo, divided by 2 times 9.81. Tignan nyo, kasyang-kasya lahat yan sa calculator. Plus 85 plus 5, 90 na kagad yan. Plus uh, 101, simplify mo na lang eh. 101.325, divide by 1.033. Divided by 9.81. 9.81. The answer will be 100. 100.28 meters. That is the total head for your pumping requirements. Hey, nan lang kadali. And let us move on with the last problem muna for part 1. Naisama ko ba yung 3? Naisama ko ba yung 3? Hindi ko naisama yung 3, no? Yung total head loss. So, plus 3 pala. Hindi ko naisama yung 3. Head loss. Ayun, may head loss pa pala. Plus 3. O, di 103. 103. Okay? That is... Ano? That is... For problem number 
0.5. Diba dito is below pump center line, kailangan minus minus yun. Okay? And then number 3. Water from a reservoir is pumped over a hill. So, inulit-ulit. Panibago na naman. The same na naman. Okay? Yan lang ulit. Tapos, meron ang water discharge 30 meters above the reservoir. Tapos, frictional losses. Meron ka ba ZD dyan? Wala kang ZS. So, 40. Ulit, inulit lang yung problem eh. So, the head total is equal to ZD minus JS <clears throat> plus yung PD minus PS over gamma plus yung VD squared minus VS squared over 2G plus head loss total. Diba? Familiar problem, inulit lang, nagbago lang to. Tsaka ito. Diba? So, wala ka ditong JS na binigay. So, this is zero. Wala ka rin PS na binigay. Zero rin yan. Wala ka rin suction na binigay sa velocity. So, zero rin siya. So, the head total will be ZD. Uh, that is 30. 30 meters above. Plus PD. Anong binigay dyan? 1 kilogram. O, oh, di ganun pa rin. Uh, 1 kilogram per cm squared. Multiply by 101.325 kilonewton per meter squared divided by 1.033 kilogram per cm squared divided by 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. That is the specific weight of water. Plus VD. Yan yung mahaba. Hmm. Di bali, 4. 4, tapos multiply mo ng, what? Ayan. 4 multiply to 0 0.5 meter cube per second over pi. Anong size ang binigay dyan? Uh, may binigay na size dyan. 450, o oh, di 0 0.45 meters squared. Tapos, square mo ng buo. Divided by 2 times the gravity, 9.81 meter per second squared. And then, add. Ano add natin dyan? 1.5 na head loss. 1.5 meter head loss. Now, you will arrive with what head total is. Calculate. Okay, ulitin na natin to. 9.81. This is 30. 30. Tapos dito is uh, 0.45. <clears throat> Yung taas, 0.5. Hmm. So, you will arrive with uh -huh, plus 1.5. Hindi ko nalagyan. Plus 1.5. The answer is 42 meters. 42 meters approximately. Okay? That is very simple. Marami tayong problems yung pagdating ng Bernoulli. I think that will be all for today. Ah? Ah, madali lang naman talaga ang Bernoulli. May, medyo mahirap lang siya pag hinaluan na ng pump. Okay? Gagamitin at gagamitin pa rin natin yan hanggang sa fans pagdating ng fluid machinery nyo. So, the last part of the problems will come out next meeting. Okay? I hope may natunan kayong bago. Dire-diretso lang ang calculation yan pagdating sa calculator. Okay? See you next meeting. Have a nice day. That is Bernoulli equation. Bernoulli theorem. Problems part 1.